defective reception and dispatch signals. Trains dealt when home signal is defective. Station master shall arrange to put the defective signals back to on position and informs SNT staff, traffic inspector, DSTE, DSO, section controller and make an entry in SNT failure register. If it detects any point, the points shall be treated as non-interlocked. Trains may be admitted in any of the two ways, locopilot pre-warned or locopilot not pre-warned. Locopilot of the train is pre-warned at the rear station. This is applicable only in case where calling on signal or signal post is not available at the station. Before granting line clear for the train, station master of the station whose home signal is defective shall ensure the line of reception is kept free, set all the points on the route correctly to that line, clamp and padlocked, depute a competent railway servant in uniform to show proceed hand signal at the foot of the home signal. The station master of the rear station shall arrange to issue a written authority in the form number T369-1, also known as Advance Authority. Loco pilot of the train with Advance Authority and noticing PHS at the foot of the defective signal shall pass that defective signal with a restricted speed of not more than 15 km per hour. When loco pilot of the train is not pre-warned by the advance authority, loco pilot of the train shall bring his train to a stop at the signal. Train may be admitted into the station either by taking off calling on signal where provided or permitting on signal post telephone where provided or by issue of a written authority T bar 369-3B plus PHS at the foot of the defective signal only after setting points correctly, clamp and padlock. Loco pilot after passing the defective signal shall keep his train under control and run at restricted speed not more than 15 km per hour. Departure signal defective. The departure signals for dispatching a train from a station are starter and advanced starter. Starter is interlocked with the points on the route and advanced starter is interlocked with the block instruments. Starter defective. Starter signal shall not obey to off position in case of starter signal fails or Points on the route are not setting correctly or the track circuits on the route is showing danger or failure of interlocked gate. Train shall be brought to a stop at the railway station and station master shall arrange to set all the points on the route correctly, clamp and padlock. Station master authorized the loco pilot to pass the signal at on by taking off, calling on signal where provided or issue of written authority T bar 369 3B plus PHS at the foot of the signal. If loco pilot of the train passes starter at on partially and stop subsequently, to restart the train, the station master shall set all the points on the route correctly, clamp and padlock. Issue written authority T.369 3B and a memo countersigned by guard exhibit proceed hand signals and take off advanced starter if it is not passed advanced starter.
advanced starter shall not obey off position in case of signal failure or block instrument failure or interlocked gate failure station master shall arrange to give written authority paper line clear ticket plct t bar c dot 1425 for up trains and t bar d dot 1425 for down trains in case of ib section station master shall arrange to issue plct and t dot 369 3b phs is required where lss detects any of the points